Hi guys. So I just kind of wanted to explain a little bit about um, the guy that I'm dating and um, his ex fiance and all that stuff. So this might be um, in several parts just because my phone won't let me record a super long video. But um, so my boyfriend, Brandon, he was, um, well, I guess they were engaged at the time, but he was engaged to a friend of mine. I grew up with her. We weren't ever really close, but we hung out together a couple times when we were little. And um, a couple of years ago, we just reconnected. And um, we didn't ever really become close, but we still, like, talked to each other. And and then um, when I met uh, the, the my second husband, which, as I said before in the other videos, I don't really like to talk about it because that was totally a rebound and it was stupid and I've learned a lot through that. So yeah, I'm so glad that I did not stay in that marriage because as much as I love marriage and I hate divorce, that would have been a very abusive relationship for me to be in. And he was very verbally abusive to me. It was just, he treated me badly. So, um, so I kind of reconnected with her through, uh, Jonathan, the guy that I was married to for a little bit. And, um, when we were just kind of dating, you know, getting to know each other, um, I hung out with her and she introduced me to Brandon <laughs> and she was like, Hey, you know, this is my fiance, Brandon. And, you know, at the time I was like, Oh yeah, he's cute and everything, but you know, he's her fiance and I'm with Jonathan and everything's cool. So the four of us would hang out and do stuff together. Um, but then it kind of became dysfunctional. Um, my, the guy that I was with was becoming more abusive with me. Um, he was really putting me down. Um, I felt like it was just a matter of time before he started to become physically abusive. Um, and then, uh, my friend, she was kind of abusive to Brandon. She, um, had a lot of issues. Um, I found out that she had been using meth and was high all the time. Um, she had, well, she still has her, but at the time she had a nine-year-old daughter and Brandon was kind of like a father to her as well. And Brandon's a very sweet guy. He has such a sweet laid back temperament that he um, stayed with them for a long time. And Kathy, there were times where she would just disappear for weeks and nobody knew where she was. And I didn't know where she was. Brandon didn't know. Nobody knew. And, um, and there are times where Brandon would text me because he thought maybe she was with me to try to find her. And that was the only thing that we would text. Like we would only text about Kathy because we were both worried about her. If I couldn't reach her, if she didn't have a phone, I would call Brandon be like, hey, I'm worried about Kathy. She confessed to me that she had a relapse the other day. Um, she didn't want me to tell you, but she bailed some friend out of jail. And anyway, so it was just a, not a good relationship for them whatsoever. It was kind of the same kind of, it's a little bit more dysfunctional in my opinion, but um, it was very dysfunctional. Um, she would confess to me about shoplifting, um, she forged checks, she, um, oh, what else? Oh, she stole money from her parents. She stole money from Brandon. Um, she would bail out these drug addicts out of jail. Um, and then she would promise Brandon, she would promise me and all of her friends that she, um, was going to be better and that she wasn't going to do that anymore. And she was going to take care of her daughter and she would just like, disappear for forever and we all knew where she went so anyway so that's kind of how my friendship was with her for the past couple of years just trying to help her get over this addiction she went through a lot of rehabs um brandon was just such a sweet guy that he um he tried to be there for her so um and then there were times where th where he would tell her you know it's either me or meth and you've got to decide and um, I want to be with you and I want to take care of your daughter and be there for you, but I deserve something better than this. And obviously you're choosing this drug over people who love you and care for you. So anyway, I'm going to upload part two because I'm running out of time on this video. So if you want to see part two, uh, I'll label it part two, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, okay. Watch for part two.